the Prep Zone. My name is Grant Yenny, and tonight we're here at Hubie Gallagher Gymnasium at Covington High School for a big cross-town district rivalry as St. Paul's takes on the Covington Lions. Now, impact players tonight, Bailey Talley, a big presence for the Covington Lions, near seven feet tall, averaging over 20 points a game uh, and 15-plus rebounds. Now, they also have Reggie Gauze, highly recruited. Uh, he is a big-time scorer as well, averaging over 16 points a game. For the St. Paul's Wolves, it's Bill Leahy, averaging over 16 points a game. So we'll see how our impact players do, as well as both teams tonight. I spoke with both coaches moments ago. Let's see what they have to say, and we'll get to the action. Free in with Coach Reed. Coach, this is our first time seeing you in the prep zone this season. Can you give us a rundown on how your team's been doing this season? Uh, we're about 14 and 6. Um, we're, we're not the, the running pressing line that people know us as. We're trying to slow the game down and value possessions, take care of the ball, and, and we're making improvements each night out. You know, we're I went two in district, lost close ones, a punch tool inside out, two really solid teams. We were able to win a close one Saturday night against Franklinton. We're a work in progress, but we're getting there slowly but surely. What's it going to take to beat the St. Paul's team here tonight? Take care of the basketball. we got to take care of the basketball, value possessions a little better. We're going to get stops, and they're going to hit threes. When we get the ball, we need to take care of it and make them work on the defense end for a little while before we give it back to them. Pretty game with Coach Dale. Coach, yeah. it's our first time seeing your team yeah. in the prep zone this yeah. season. Can you give us a rundown on how your season's been? Well, it's been up and down for us. You know, I like how we're playing right now. Uh, we're young, you know, we, we lost a lot of seniors last year, but our young guys are really stepping up and getting more comfortable in their roles, hopefully peaking at the right time. What's it going to take to get a win against this Covington team here tonight? Uh, it's a very talented team, and they've got some talented players. We've got to play hard, we're going to have to defend, and we're really going to have to rebound against their size. The Bailey Tally along with Demetrios to tip this one off. Tally wins it. The near seven footer for the Lions. So this one's tipped away. Covington getting the ball first, passing it around. Q Laurent. Laurent passing it up to Reggie Gauze. Gauze to tally. Good dish there. From beyond the arc, it's put up and off the front edge of the rim. Rebound by number five, Ben Sidon. 6'7 forward. Now St. Paul's beyond the arc, looking to put this one up. Dylan Demetrios. And losing the handle on it, picks it up, puts it up and in. And St. Paul's is on the board first. Leading 2-0 early in this one. St. Paul's coming into this one. As that one sinks to number five, Cabrin Williams. St. Paul's coming in 10-8. and eight. We have a first foul called on the night. St. Paul's 10 and 8, 1 and 1 in district. Covington 14 and 7, 0 and 2 in district. So looking to get one in the win column in district play. So this one comes in, bringing it up court. Jaquan Chapman passing it back and forth with Reggie Gauze. Gauze battling up and through, steps up and drains it. <laughs> Excuse me. And a 5 to 2, Covington leads. Here's Leahy, tipped up and away, tips it to himself, and they're going to call the travel there. He's tipped up to himself to look to take steps after coming down with it. So it'll be a throw in for the Lions. Quickly, pass the tally, tally, steps up, easy lay in. Seven to two, driving, putting it up, all ball there. Third time's the charm and goes in for number 25, Ben Broussard. Makes it 7-4, Covington. Chapman losing the handle on it. Over tipped away by Sidon. Back into Covington possession. Here's Gauze driving, puts it up off the backboard, rims out. St. Paul's comes up with it, going the other way. So foul called on Q Laurent. That'll be a throw in for the Wolves. Isaiah Phillips inbounding it to Bill Leahy. Leahy, of course, the leading scorer for St. Paul's, averaging 16. Here's Sidon laying it in quickly. Seven six. 
Tally is off the mark side and comes down with the rebound. Phillips to Leahy. Driving, puts it up, laying it in, and well off the mark. Gauze comes down with it, quickly passing it up. Cabron Williams. Williams beyond the arc looking for an option to pass to, finds Gauze. And Gauze losing the handle there. It looked like it may have been helped out by a St. Paul's player. Leahy, coast to coast, drains it. And they say the basket doesn't go. And they call a foul. So basket, no good. Seven six, Covington still with the lead. Cabron Williams is fouled. And this one called on Dylan Demetrios, the 6'4 junior guard. Checking into this one, Zach Finn, a fresh, a 5'11 freshman. We just, uh, Dave Williams and I just watched him play uh, prior to this game in a JV game, absolutely tore it up. Great player and just a freshman. Driving here, Edrin Cooper. Cooper laying that one in. Edrin Cooper, of course, a two-sport athlete for the Lions. Great football player for the Lions football team being looked at by Tulane as that point goes from Bill Leahy. Tulane gave Edrin Cooper the offer. And sure to have more after next season. They call the kickball there. It's 9-8, Covington leading. 4.08 to go here in the first. And uh, we'll step away for a timeout. So we had a little nacho spillage near the uh, goal that you're looking at now. They needed to clean it up. It's all cleaned up, and we're back to the action. If you're just joining us, Covington leading 9-8, to eight, and that one sails out of bounds. Nobody home. So throw in coming for St. Paul's. Isaiah Phillips looking for an option to pass it into. Bounce pass. Phillips over to Fenn. To Sidon, Sidon tally on him. He needs an option to pass to. St. Paul's passing around the horn, unable to work it inside. Pass up. There's Sidon, and it's tipped away. Going the other way quickly. Edgerin Cooper, coast to coast, puts it up. It's off the mark. And Bill Leahy is going the other way. This one up, Tally comes down with the rebound. Here's Tally driving, putting it up near the rim, and puts it in, 11-8, Covington leading. Tally tipping that one away, intercepting the pass. This one up to Cabron Williams for the lay-in. Thirteen to eight, as Covington continues their lead. Broussard. Driving, Broussard puts it up and in. Broussard four points on the night. Covington slowing down the pace, bringing it up. This one, Gauze up, off the mark. Gauze gets his own rebound, puts that one up, it's off the mark. And it's tipped out of bounds by Ben Broussard. So that'll be a throw in for the Lions as subs come in for St. Paul's. Matthew Mahoney and Jace Moore check in. So throw in coming from Edgerin Cooper. Cooper into Gauze. Gauze puts it up from downtown and drains it. Six 
16 to 10, Covington. Pass out, Leahy from way downtown. He is off the mark and Gauze comes down with the rebound. Gauze looking for an option to pass to. Up to Cooper, Cooper spinning, puts it up off the backboard and an and one. That foul called on Jace Moore, the 6'5 senior for the Wolves. Justin Lee and Q Laurent check in. So 18 to 10, Covington. Cooper looking to make it 19. That one off the front edge of the rim. Rebound by Zach Fenn. Moore tripped up. And the foul called on Cabron Williams. So Bill Leahy heads over to the far side to throw this one in. Mahoney. Leahy driving, turns, puts this one up, sinks it. Bill Leahy with four points now on the night, makes it 18-12 Covington. That one through the hands of uh, Justin Lee, but he's able to get it, bounce pass to Cooper. Cooper puts it up, he's well off the mark, and Sidon comes down with the rebound. Here's Mahoney. Lofts it up from the free throw line and it goes. 18-14. Covington still with the lead. Reggie Gauze beyond the arc. Lofts it, sinks it. 21-14, his second three-pointer on the night. 21-14 and Bill Leahy drains that one. 21-16, you're looking at two top scorers for both teams just scoring there. Gauze on one side, Leahy on the other, and we're under 10 seconds to play here in the first quarter. Gauze driving, can he get his third three on the night? Yes! And that will end the first quarter. Reggie Gauze with 11 points, and the Covington Lions lead 24-16 to end the first. Kicking off the second quarter, throw in from Jace Moore. Inbounds it to Matthew Mahoney. St. Paul's looking to close this deficit. They trail 24-16. Leahy. St. Paul's looking to settle down in that one. Picked off, going the other way, tipped way up there. Wow, tip to tally, dunks it! And the gym goes crazy. The near seven footer slamming that one away, 26-16. Gauze throwing this one in. Driving, looking for an option to pass to. It's picked off by the Wolves. Going the other way, Matthew Mahoney. Taken away by Broussard. From downtown, drains it. Jace Moore for three. The 6'5 senior guard. 26-19 Covington. This one up over the basket. Going the other way, Bill Leahy. It's stolen again by the Lions. Here for three, up and off the mark. And St. Paul's comes away with it, going the other way. And that one, it looked like he was tossing a jump ball up, and it's going the other way as Gauze comes away with it. It's kind of a errant throw, and they will call a travel. 
on Reggie Gauze. Throw in from Jace Moore. St. Paul's working it down, Isaiah Phillips, the 5'9 jun junior guard. Working around that off the back of his foot and out of bounds. And that'll be Covington Lion Ball once again. Deuce Woodson checks in. So far in this one, it seems like every break is going the Lions' way, and then they take full advantage of it, leading 26-19. So Reggie Gauze will throw this one in over on that far sideline, inbounds it to Jaquan Chapman. <laughs> Here's Gauze, this one. Pass up, Gauze catches it over Phillips but loses the handle on it. And that will be St. Paul's ball. Phillips over to uh, Evan Chesnider. Chesnider, uh, excuse me, uh, Ramsey slipped. This went out, Ramsey wide open pass, Phillips for three off the mark. St. Paul's comes down with the rebound. Putback doesn't go. And Reggie Gauze comes down with it and lofts it out to Jaquan Chapman. Chapman, desperation pass is uh, errant. But luckily for the Lions, doesn't go. And Gauze headed the other way. And we're going to have our first jump ball of the game as we lost the handle there. Players from both sides dove on top of the ball. And so Covington will take a timeout. 4.53 remaining here in the first half, and Covington leads 26 to 19. Inbounds, Kebron Williams for three off the mark. Phillips losing the handle. Leahy comes up with it. Lane violation call. So that'll be a throw in for the Lions. Six seven Sidon checking back in for St. Paul's. So Reggie Gauze brings this one up court. Gauze pass is mishandled and we may have another jump ball. No, this one's still loose as they're diving for it and there's, let's see. Yeah, there's the jump ball call. As the ball was wrestled for, slipped through a, a couple times and wrestled for down there on the court. Saw Cabron Williams jump on top of the St. Paul's player to try and get it. That makes it 26, it's still 26-19. Covington leading with 4.20 to go here in the first half. Phillips up to Sidon, driving, puts it up, he's fouled. So that'll send Ben Sidon to the line to shoot. <clears throat> that call, foul called on Reggie Gauze. Side shot, sinks it. 26-20. 4.04 to go, this one up to Cooper. Cooper turns, puts it up, he's fouled. Falcon number five, Ben Sidon. That's going to send Andrew Cooper to the 
So Cooper to the line to shoot two. Hear this crowd getting quiet, save for the St. Paul's cheerleaders. Sinks the first one. Second shot coming from Cooper. That one off the mark. Seiden comes down with the rebound. Covington leading 27 to 20. Over to Ramsey. Working around the horn, looking for an option to pass to, trying to work it inside. Phillips driving, puts it up, swatted away by Edgerin Cooper. Great awareness there, jumping up. Seeing where the ball was, swatting it cleanly. Shot downtown, drains it, Bill Leahy. Nine points on the night for the junior guard. It's 27-23 Covington with 310 to go here in the second. Wow, Phillips out of no uh, excuse yeah, Phillips out of nowhere. And Gauze is hit. That one well off the mark. Falls into St. Paul's possession. Sidon, spin move, puts it up. And they're gonna call Sidon for a travel. Sidon thought he was fouled, but instead the whistle was for travel, traveling. And uh, Gauze and Williams. Passing it back and forth, coming down the court. That one off the mark, intended for Cooper. Mishandled it, and Evan Schesnyder going the other way. Seiden putting it up. And that time he's fouled. They're going to call that one on Edger and Cooper, but it'll send Seiden back to the line. Shot is up, drains the first one. 27-24. Uh, Tally and Bailey Tally and Q Laurent checking back in for the Lions and Broussard into the game for Blake Ramsey. But Tally, a near seven footer back in. You have a height on the floor with uh, for the Lions with Tally and Edger and Cooper down there. 27 24, 222 to go here in the first half. Gauze dumps it to Tally. Tally, pass across, wide open for three, and off the mark is Jaquan Trapman. Leahy from downtown drains it. And he's also, he was a good two feet from the arc when he put that one up, but Leahy now with 12 points on the night, and that one goes from Edger and Cooper. 29-27 as St. Paul's has come charging back into this one, looking to tie it up right here. Seiden puts it up, and he is off the mark. Gauze getting around Phillips, looking to put that one up. That could have been a called travel there, and the putback goes from Tally. Thirty-one twenty-seven, and that one right back to Reggie Gauze. Driving, Cooper dumps it off the tally. Tally dishes it to Laurent, drains it for three. Q Laurent on the board. And it's thirty-four twenty-seven for the Lions. Under a minute to play here in the first half. This gym's electric cheering section for Covington. Fired up about their team's performance so far here in the first half. Hey. 
Evan Schesneider to throw this one in. Schesneider up to Leahy, over to Phillips. Looking to score before half. St. Paul's gets it back there. The ball came free. Passing it back and forth as, it, forth as this one winds down. 27 seconds to go here in the first half. Leahy over to Phillips. And calls coming in from St. Paul's from the sideline. Leahy, Gauze trying to pick that one off. Leahy, no shot. And they call the foul. Gabriel Williams checks in. Out goes Q Laurent. About 10 seconds to go. Bounce pass up to Broussard. Dish out to Phillips. Phillips to Leahy. Three seconds on the clock. Looking to spin, puts this one up. It's swatted away. And the buzzer will sound to send us to half as Covington leads 34 to 27. The Reggie Gauze inbounding it to get us started here in the second half. If you're just joining us, Covington leading 34 to 27 over district rival St. Paul's cross town rival. And that one touched going out of bounds and will be a throw in for the Wolves. So Isaiah Phillips bringing this one up, looking for an option to pass to Phillips. Gets it out to Bill Leahy, who's been sensational tonight. 12 points on the night uh, in the first half. And this one for three off the mark. Broussard comes up with it and puts it in. Broussard, six points on the night for the 6-1 sophomore. Gauze passing this one over to Chapman. Gauze finds Tally. Puts it up and sinks it. Doesn't take much when you're near seven feet tall. And we're sorry about that. People walking in the way of the shot. 36-29. Up and in for Edgerin Cooper. Nine points on the night for the junior. Two sport star athlete. Lay Leahy out, and the three-pointer goes from Dylan Demetrios. Five points on the night for the junior guard. And Covington will take a timeout here early in the third as Covington leads 38-32 to with 6.29 remaining here in the third. Q. Laurent inbounds it to Reggie Gauze coming out of the Covington timeout. Gauze looking for an option to pass to. Nearly picked off by Leahy. Loose ball. And Chapman comes away with it. Now driving. Bounce pass out. And stuffed away by Dylan Demetrios. Here's Phillips outside. Three-point attempt. Sinks it. Demetrios. Eight points on the night. Approaching his average on the season of nine points. Here's Edgerin Cooper. That one picked off. He just tipped that one in, and we're going to have another jump ball on the night. That's our third. Cameron Williams will check back in. A good effort there by Demetrios to try and knock that one back in. Unfortunately, uh, well, it kind of worked in their favor. As St. Paul still ended up with the ball after the jump ball. So Isaiah Phillips brings it up court. Pass over to Demetrios. To Phillips. Smooths, puts it up, sinks it. Isaiah Phillips, the junior guard, brings St. Paul's within one point of tying this one up. Edrin Cooper is called for the travel. 
ball to Ben Broussard. Outside Leahy, beyond the arc, driving up. Turns, puts it up, sinks it, and St. Paul's has taken the lead, 39-38 here in the third. And Leahy, 14 points on the night. Gauze from beyond the arc, drains it. Reggie Gauze, his fourth three-pointer on the night. It's 14 points for Reggie Gauze, and now this one quickly going the other way. Cabron Williams up and off the mark, but out of bounds. It's Dylan Demetrios touched it as it was going out. And this will be a throw-in for the Lions. This one, Gauze hauls it in. The lefty drains it. My goodness, I want his autograph after this one. 17 points. 15 of them off three-pointers. 44-39 for Covington. And a foul called. Throw in coming from Leahy. Seiden, backward lay in, doesn't go. Come, Broussard with the rebound, puts it in. Eight points on the night for Broussard. 44 41 here in the third. Four minutes to go, picked off, going the other way. Dylan Demetrios with the dunk, and the St. Paul's faithful go crazy. Now St. Paul's back within one. And the foul called. Edger and Cooper will check back in and Zach Fenn will go in for St. Paul's. So Q Laurent will inbound this one for uh, the Lions. 3.47 to go here in the third. Laurent, Gauze, downtown. And that one rims out. Justin Lee, rebound, puts it up. Edgerin Cooper's dunk attempt doesn't go. And St. Paul's going the other way. Leahy, fouled. Called on Edger and Cooper. Bailey Talley checking in for the Lions. And Phillips with the throw in. Is Leahy. That one stripped away. Lee. Leahy to Phillips, beyond the arc, drives, bounce pass, looking for Sidon, and it's tipped away by Tally Covington, very quickly going the other way. Gauze puts it up and in. 19 points on the night for Reggie Gauze. Gauze has been absolutely sensational in this one tonight. Moving the ball up, steps up, puts it in, it's off the mark. Ben Seiden comes down with it. St. Uh, excuse me, Covington leading 46-43 here in the third. Finn, the freshman guard. And there, Leahy, off the mark, Tally comes away with the rebound. Now Covington slowing down from their usual pace. This one picked off, going the other way. Blake Ramsey, coast to coast, puts it up and sinks it. Check that, Phillips, excuse me. Isaiah Phillips, coast to coast. And Covington will take a timeout. 
with a minute 54 to go here in the third. Covington leads 46-45. Coming out of the timeout, Isaiah Phillips. It's about a Zach Finn and St. Paul's within one. Looking to tie it up here. Ben Broussard puts it up. Does not go. And Tally comes down with it. Bailey Tally, the senior center for the Lions. Jaquan Chapman to Gauze. Gauze stripped away. Looking to get it back, but Leahy dumps it off to Phillips. Phillips puts it up and sinks it. And St. Paul's has taken the lead once again as St. Paul's leads 47 to 46 with a minute 15 to play here in the third. Tipped away by Sidon. And they're going to call the foul on Sidon as Justin Lee checks in for Tally. Matthew Mahoney checks in for Isaiah Phillips. So, minute nine to go here in the third. Covington inbounds it to uh, Jaquan Chapman. Chapman gauze, and that loses the handle on it. That one goes out of bounds, so a throw in coming. <coughs> Excuse me. For the Lions, bounced off a uh, St. Paul's player, touched it. 60 seconds to go here in the third. Inbounds from Cabron Williams. Needs to find an option. Just lofts it way up there for Reggie Gauze. There's Chapman outside. Putting it up for three off the mark is Cabron Williams. And Leahy the other way gets it to Mahoney. Mahoney stuck. And that'll be St. Paul's ball. Good effort there. Chesnider. Outside gauze on him. Bounce pass to Mahoney. Here's Leahy. Downtown drains it. When you leave Bill Leahy that wide open, he's not going to miss from that far out. Just great technical skills when shooting. You really need to contest him hard to prevent a, a shot like that. But 50 to 46, St. Paul's with the lead. And this would, lo losing the handling going the other way is Mahoney with the lay-in. And 52, 46 is the score at the buzzer to end the third quarter. Top of the fourth throw in from Gauze to Jaquan Chapman as Covington looking to battle back in and reclaim the lead. They led for most of this one. Broussard takes that one there. Mahoney losing the handle. Quickly picks it back up. But uh, Covington has led for most of this one. St. Paul's taking the lead in the third. Both teams need to finish strong here in the fourth. Covington needs to battle back and uh, close this deficit as St. Paul's leading 52 to 46. Passing around the horn, bounce pass up to Ben Broussard. For three, Broussard comes down with the rebound outside. Ben for three, off the mark, and Reggie Gauze comes down with the rebound. And a pass, errant pass going the other way for the Wolves. Ben Broussard coming away with it and passing it to Leahy. Zach Finn back to Leahy. And now St. Paul's will take a timeout as they lead 52-46 with 6.51 to play here in the fourth. <laughs> Coming out of the timeout, Leahy into Finn and now Covington pressing. Able to get it to Leahy, Covington all over St. Paul's players. Set driving, puts it up. That one doesn't go. Covington comes away with it as Jaquan Chapman comes up with it, a long pass to Tally. Tally hauls it in and puts it up. And Bailey Tally will go to the line to shoot.
Eight points on the night for Cali. Dylan Demetrios checking in for Schesnyder. Seiden coming in for Broussard. Six twenty-eight to go here in the fourth. Tally off the mark on the free throw attempt. Here's Fenn. It's an option to pass to. Tipped away and what? Going to go backcourt. Throw in for Edger and Cooper, needs an option, gets to Chapman. Chapman quickly under the goal, dishes it out. Here's Cooper, open, driving, off the backboard and in. Edger and Cooper, 11 points on the night. And Covington is within two of tying this one up. Leahy driving, puts that one up, and it goes. 16 points on the night for Leahy, right at his average. Excuse me, 19 points, so above his average. And there the foul called as Isaiah Phillips checks in. Makes it 54 to 50. 5.30 to go in this one. Jaquan Chapman. There, foul called. Called on Isaiah Phillips. Well, that'll set up Reggie Gauze. We'll throw this one in for the Lions. <laughs> Excuse me. Cooper needs an option to pass to. Scooped up by St. Paul, still down, and do they get the timeout off in time? Yeah, St. Paul's calls a timeout. 4.58 remaining here in the fourth. St. Paul's leads 54-50, and we have a timeout on the floor. So Demetrios bounce pass inbounds to Leahy. You see Covington still has that big press on. St. Paul's faithful won a foul there. Leahy looking for an option to pass to is all over him. And there, Q. Laurent called. <laughs> so Isaiah Phillips. So Phillips to throw this one in. for an option to pass to bounce pass into Leahy and a foul called on Q Laron. Well, I have to admit I didn't see it. I mean he was called for something. I, I don't know. I didn't see it and obviously Covington not happy about that one. Um Picked away. Leahy falling. They'll call the push on Q Laurent. St. Paul's fans very happy. Covington fans still booing. So 54 50, 436 to go here in the fourth. And Isaiah Phillips on the far side of the court to throw this one in. Bounce pass. Leahy. Leahy looking for an option to pass to. 
and throws it away. A little hesitation there as he wanted to throw it to Dylan Demetrios, um, but he saw Covington player cutting off that lane, and it bounced out of bounds. So Covington ball going the other way, 54-50, St. Paul's leading. The foul called on Demetrios. <laughs> the throw in coming for the Lions. We apologize there. There's people coming across the screen. Reggie Gauze inbounds to Cooper. Putting it up off the backboard and the foul is called. So that'll send Broussard. Send Edger and Cooper to the line to shoot. Wet spot on the floor they're trying to clean up. Cooper to the line to shoot. Already has 11 points on the night, looking to increase it. Let's see, Cooper puts it up, sinks it. Second shot coming for Cooper. Making this one will put Covington within two of St. Paul's. Sinks the second one. So 54-52. St. Paul's still leading. Fenn picked off. Cooper. Cooper looking at his Fenn, looking for an option to pass to his Fenn is all over him. Gauze from way downtown. Off the mark. Cooper comes down with the rebound. Puts it up. Off the mark, but he's fouled. And that'll send him back to the line to potentially tie this one up. Cooper heads up play there. Cooper off the mark on the first one. Matthew Mahoney checking in for the Wolves as Zach Fenn comes out. Cooper, second shot, sinks it. So Covington within one of tying this one up with 4.02 to go. Here's Phillips getting around Cooper, up to Leahy. Leahy getting around the pick from Sidon and the foul call. And that will be Covington ball. Called on Sidon. Check that on uh, Leahy. So 54-53, St. Paul's 3.50 to go here in the fourth. Bringing it down quickly is Chapman. Needs an option to pass to, gets it to Williams. Gauze, who's been sensational tonight. And that one rims out. Phillips up. Passing it to Sidon. Sidon has Phillips on the wing. For three is off the mark. Broussard comes away with the interception. Here's Sidon putting it up contested. And Sidon will head to the line to shoot for the Wolves. Ben Sidon. 6-7 forward for the St. Paul's Wolves. Sidon's first shot goes. Five points on the night for Ben Sidon. 
makes it 55-53 for the Wolves. 3.16 to go. Second shot coming, sinks it. Fifty-six, fifty-three. Yaquan Chapman. Driving. It's around Leahy is off the mark. The putback goes from Edger and Cooper. Fifty-six, fifty-one. Covington back within one of St. Paul's with two fifty on the clock. Phillips off the mark and Tally comes down with the ball. Edger and Cooper driving. That one goes and gives Covington the lead. 57 to 56. Two and a half to go here in the fourth. Leahy's going to be called with the travel. And out. comes Morris, in goes uh, Q Laurent back in. Up to Gauze, Gauze long pass, looking for Tally. Cooper comes up with it. Cooper to Laurent. Laurent bounce pass to Gauze. Gauze driving and the tip ball is out of bounds. And Covington will take a timeout as Covington leads 57-56 with a minute 56 to go here in the fourth. Coming out of the timeout, throw in coming for Covington. Bounce pass to Tally. Tally outside to Laurent. Minute 50 to go here in the fourth. Cooper. Oh, and they're going to call the double dribble on Cooper. So subs coming in for St. Paul's as Dylan Demetrios comes back in, and it'll be a throw in for the Wolves here near sideline, right there in front of the Covington bench area. You see Bruce Hart said, hey guys, I'm going to have a lot of pressure on me, so uh, come on in closer. Because he has Edger and Cooper in his face. Throw in to Leahy. Leahy looking to bring the ball up court. Covington still has that press on. Leahy driving. Puts it up, off the backboard, and Tally comes down with it. Gets it out to Edger and Cooper. Jaquan Chapman looking to get around Leahy. Gauze losing his footing and still comes away with the ball. Over to Laurent. Getting around Demetrios out to Tally. Here's Tally beyond the arc. And Seiden tried to tip that one away. Covington players want a call there. And Covington cheering section as well. Cooper puts it up off the mark. Broussard back in and Covington comes away with it. No, they say. The Q Laurent's foot was out of bounds. Q Laurent's foot was out of bounds, and now, so it'll be St. Paul's ball, but there's a timeout on the floor. So 33 seconds to go here in the fourth. Covington leads 57 56. Coming out of the timeout, an electric crowd here at Hubie Gallagher Gymnasium this has been an incredible game so far. 30 seconds to go. Covington leading 57 to 56. Phillips stolen away by Laurent. And now to Tally. Dawes. And the foul party has started. 
as Evan Schaefsneider fouls Tally. And he fouls Gauze. And you see cheering section, everybody going wild. Here in Hubie Gallagher Gymnasium. This is a big cross town rivalry. It's for bragging rights here in Covington. Gauze puts it up off the mark. Seiden coming down with the rebound. 12 seconds to go, clock winding down. And St. Paul's will call a timeout. Nine seconds remaining here in the fourth. And Covington leads 57-56. The throw in coming here, nine seconds to go. St. Paul's looking for an option to inbounds to. Bounce pass, back out. Let's see whose ball it is, who do they call? This will be St. Paul's ball, knocked out by Covington. Eight and a half to go. So inbounds coming from Evan Shea Snyder. Bounce pass to Leahy, six seconds to go. Leahy spinning around, driving, puts it up. At the buzzer, off the mark. Put back from Sidon. Shot, does it go? And Covington wins this one. 57 to 56. What a game. What a way to start the new year. Let's send out our thank yous to those who helped bring you this game, starting with our superintendent, Mr. Trey Fultz, our director of broadcasting, Dr. Melody Menard, cameraman, editor, and coordinator of Channel 13. Dave the Rave Williams. So from Hubie Gallagher Gymnasium here at Covington High School, where the Covington Lions defeat the St. Paul's Wolves 57-56 in this big district rivalry matchup. My name is Grant Yenny. Good night. You are now leaving the prep zone.